Hi, I'm Brian Heidelberger, a partner with the law firm of Winston & Strawn in Chicago and here today with another mini advertising law lesson. Today's law lesson, well as you know I bring to you the hottest issues in marketing and advertising that people are talking about today. So what is it that people are talking about? Is it a new law that's going to change the face of the way we advertise? No. Is it a new social media platform maybe that's going to change the way we all communicate? Not really. So what is it? It's who owns the monkey selfie? And how big of an issue is this? Well, it's so big that if you Google it, you'll find 89,300,000 hits. Yes, people, 89 million. And how many listened to my last mini law lesson? So if you don't know what I'm talking about, let's back up a sec. Back in 2011, a photographer went to Indonesia to take pictures of a tribe of monkeys. Well, one of the particular monkeys got a hold of his camera and took a bunch of photographs of it, one of which was this selfie. So recently, the Wikimedia Foundation got a hold of the photo, posted it to the web, and when the photographer sent a copyright takedown notice and requested that the photo be taken down, the foundation refused under the theory that the photographer wasn't the owner of the photograph since it was taken by a monkey. Now, copyright law states that ownership vests with the person who put the creative work in a tangible medium. That's like the person who took the photo, who paints the picture, or who drew the cartoon. That's why it's always important to get a written agreement when you hire somebody to develop creative works for you. A number of noted law professors have made it clear that copyright law states that ownership in a copyrighted work can only be with a human. That means the monkey who took the photo can't own the copyright in the photo, but neither can the photographer because he didn't take the photo. And even if he did get a writing from the monkey, it wouldn't be valid because the monkey didn't own the copyright in the first place. Got it? What do I have to do with this? Well, there's a little known codicil in the Faber College Constitution that provides for eminent domain in the event that ridiculous arguments are dominating public discourse. So, by the power vested in me by Advertising Age, the State of Illinois, and the Mini Law Lesson Foundation, I hereby seize all right, title, and interest into that photograph so that we can all stop talking about this monkey selfie. So it's done. I own it. It's officially over. The conversation has ended. And you know what? While I'm at it, I'm going to actually seize that same power and use it to take away all right title and interest to the word selfie itself. So from now on, I own the trademark selfie. And much like Pat Riley and the phrase three Pete, anyone who uses that phrase from now on owes me one million dollars. I think we can all agree that me taking that word out of the public lexicon is doing us all a public service. And just like Oprah, Ellen DeGeneres, you owe me a million dollars. David Ortiz, you owe me a million dollars. And this guy, he owes me a million dollars too. So that's it for today. You're welcome, world, for me solving the critical issues of the day. I hope this has been helpful. For more information, you can follow me at Bry Heidelberger. Or for more mini law lessons, go to youtube.com backslash edage or youtube.com backslash Brian Heidelberger, and until next time, let's be careful out there.